Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of Skyrim Special Edition. I told a lie. <laughs> I'm actually not moving on to the pirate build in this video, so don't get excited. I'm going to carry on with the Thieves build until I become the Jarl of Riften, because I forgot about that. And I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a second. So I'm going to become the Jarl of Riften, which shouldn't take too long, and then we'll move on. And the only reason I'm becoming the Jarl before we leave is because, you know, when we do leave to become Pirate Build, we're going to go to Solitude. And I don't know when we're going to have a chance to come back to Riften. I just kind of want to complete almost every quest in Riften before we just move on. So uh, we don't have to come back as many times, if that makes sense. Also, I just want to let you know, camping is 300 credits on the uh, Creation Club store. Uh, it's now uh, 150 credits, so half price. So if you want that, get it. I was thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. I might get it, I'm not sure, because um, it would come in handy for the survival build if we ever get onto that. Anyway, let's uh, jump into the video. So there's this guy here that I've not met before, so I'm going to speak to him. Oh, no, no. You don't look so impressive to me. I mean, you're no grey fox, but you must be doing something right. Also, there's going to be a lot of talking in this video, so if you don't like that, just skip over this video. So where do you hail from? Morrowind, of course. Any Dunmore worth their weight in ash would tell you the same. I used to be a member of the Morag farm. The Morag Tong? We were an assassin's guild that was sanctioned by the Empire to provide public, as well as private, executions. We did this in the name of Mephala, whom I used to quite fervently worship. Was it anything like the Dark Brotherhood? No. In fact, the Tong were quite the bitter rivals with the Dark Brotherhood. Where they operate within the shadows, we operated on the side of justice. Why didn't you stay with the Tong? I didn't have a choice. When the Red Mountain erupted in Morrowind, the Tong fled, spread to the Nine Winds. We made a pact that one day we might reunite. But I believe that day is long in coming. Perhaps you should have joined the Dark Brotherhood. Have you taken leave of your senses? If the Dark All Brotherhood right. discovered I had been with the Morag Tong, they would have come after me with a vengeance. Better to stay out of sight and ply me trade with the Thieves' Guild than risk a contract on me head. Well, your secret is safe with me. Yeah, I'm surprised he told me that, actually. I should hope so. The Dark Brotherhood is also known to place contracts on those who associate with the Morag Tong as well. So, unless you wish a visit from one of their own, I'd suggest you follow your own advice and keep your mouth shut. Well, I have something to blackmail him with, don't I? Alright there, Rune. You did, you did. Jesus, watch out. Alright, so we can actually go to the, uh, is it the Long House? It's called? Anyway, we can go over there and we can, uh, Try to become the Yarl. We don't want to go through there, do we? No, 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 no. It's not the Yarl. It's the Thane. We want to become Thane. Sorry, guys. Also, there's a lady here. She's not here at the moment, but I'm just going to wait to speak to her. Because I always pass her. Obviously she's not here today. But yeah, I always pass her and don't. Maybe she's got some uh, dialogue. We can see. She's like a priest, right? She should be up early. Right, there you are. How can a humble servant of Talos help you today? Oh, what can you tell me about Talos? He's the protector of man. The dragon of the north. <laughs> Patron of all Nords, and despite the Imperials and their treaty, he will always be one of the Nine Divines. A devout Nord would rather fall in battle and have his blood spill upon the earth than allow the Empire to strike his name from the divinity. Why all the hatred for the Empire? Palace is part of our culture. 
He's part of our heritage and our tradition. He's Skyrim personified. To suddenly have all that wrenched away is like losing someone you hold dearly in your heart. The Empire already took my daughter from us, but by Talos, they will not take our homeland. What happened to your daughter? I trained our daughter Lilia as a healer to one day tend the shrine of Talos and replace me as a priestess of Talos. When the fighting began over the white gold concordat, she ran off to join the storm cloaks. She had her father's fire. How could I say no? I was going to say, no one wants to become a healer and there, pray. Only having tended it's to boring. The soldiers for a few months. We never even found her body. The Empire burned all the dead. Oh well. Talos preserve you. Well, you know, you had it coming. No, don't bring up a child and teach her magic and, <laughs> and tell her that you're going to replace her as a priest. I wonder why she ran away. Anyway, where's, um... Here it is. This is where we need to go. Um, the keep. Taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. <clears throat> Welcome to Mist Vale Keep. I'm Jarl Leila's steward, and Uriel. spouting his nonsense about the Empire. What would you have me do? Send him to the gallows for treason? He's your brother, Harald. My only concern is your safety, Mother. One can only imagine the sordid types he may be conspiring with to bring about your downfall. I will hear no more of this, Harald. Do you understand me? No more. As Riften's steward, I'm afraid I can provide only limited assistance. But speak your mind. If you're here to report any instances of corruption, be confident that we're handling these rumors accordingly. Uh, what do you do around here? As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. Oh, hold on, he's got his sword out. What's going on? Uh, what are the rumours of corruption you mentioned? There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city, that it's corrupt and run by the Blackbriar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Tell me about the Blackbriar family. Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim, the Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. I wonder what she'll say, because she doesn't know I'm the Thieves' Guild master. I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. I'll let the Thieves' Guild know we have a future target. Or I'll let the Dark Brotherhood know. <laughs> I'm looking for work. Got any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Details, woman. Not details. You're welcome in Riften. As long as you continue to obey our laws. Sure. Hi there. Welcome to Riften, traveller. I hope the road fared well for you. Um, what's your stance on the war? Well, I feel Ulfric's cause is just. My concern is for the people of the Rift. 
How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. What of Ulfric himself? With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. What is the White Gold Concordat? Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Eldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, oh, yeah, yeah, the White yeah, Gold yeah. Concordat <laughs> was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken upon herself well, to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Good journey to you. All right. You, you tried to speak to me earlier, so. Can I sit down here? Yes. I want to speak to you. Oh, I can't quite reach him. <laughs> Do you realize how delicate the experiment is you've interrupted by sending for me? I may need to throw out the components and start again. How dare you take that kind of job? Ooh. You're in service to me, remember? I'm sorry, my lady. The stresses of all this research. It's becoming more than I can bear. You're forgiven. Now, I want to know if you've made any progress with my son. Is he correct? Well, you know what? I can sit Has over there. Possessed? Sorry, my lady. I've been looking, but I'm convinced Sarah and Did you have some me. sort of official business here? Look, there is Miss Bell Keith at it. I'm Yarl, you may the go. steward. I'm Uriel. I'd request that when speaking to Yarl Leila, you show the proper respect. Yes. Uh, I take it you protect the jar? Indeed. There have been multiple attempts on the Jarl's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. At the end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Jarl. I will not allow her to fall. Um, tell me your thoughts on the war. Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. I don't think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. You tell me about the Thieves' Guild. Liars and bastards. Every one of them. I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Rathwee and burn them out like rodents. You really Small could. won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. Uh, what's the Rathwee? See, see if he knows anything about it. Everyone knows the Thieves' Guild uses the old sewer system beneath Riften as their hideout. I'd go down there myself, but that would leave Yara Leila unprotected. Oh, you weirdo. I'm keeping my eye on you. Welcome to Miss Vale Keith. I'm Yarl Leila's steward, I'm Uriel. Who's this? No, oh, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun of the Jarl's youngest son? Until next time, What's going on? start again. How dare you take that? They're having the same conversation as earlier. Did Harold send you to taunt me? Why would I ridicule you? Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. I dared to speak to my mind. I dared to speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. 
Now my mother stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to you. insurrection. He reminds me a lot like the guy off uh, The Last Kingdom, if you ever watched that show. It's actually uh, just blew up on Netflix. I actually watched it before it was popular, but it's now very popular, so you should go on Netflix and it should be like on the homepage probably, but you should watch it, it's really good. Anyway, this guy reminds me of uh, the dude who I've just forgotten the name of. Is it Eric? Not Eric. You guys probably know who I'm on about if you watch it. Uh, what sort of lies has Ulfric been spreading? Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos and uses it as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. Don't worry guys, I've got the name. It's Ethelwald. Until next time. Yeah, he reminds me of Ethelwald. Been looking, but I'm convinced Saraland truly believes what he is saying. Very well. Keep at it. You may go. Did we have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. <laughs> um, what has you so uh, preoccupied? Hello, are you gonna are you gonna face me? Okay. Excuse my dis- Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. Fantastic. Do go on. Aha! So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Putting aside Ralston's constant and universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field? Um, how about using calipers? Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Easy. It's nine. Of course! Nine is the most basic <laughs> of magical principles. Oh, how stupid of me. That completely takes care of all your basic problems, magicka burn, dimensional collapse, and thermic drift. You've done it! Now, if I can only remember what we were originally talking about. It's funny, because one of the options was to say, swallow a soul gem, and she would have came out with the same kind of reply. And she would have been like, yes, you've done it. Uh, you appear to need help getting organized. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I this could... This dude always watching me. Of experiments. Uh, what did you need me to get? As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer stirring spoon, my Oracalcum ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Point them away, and I'll get them. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. <laughs> where exactly am I going? Let's see. 
Last time I used the Dwemer spoon was at my dear friend Fody's house in Iverstead. Fellstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh, well. Um, right then. I'd like to make an investment into your business. Let's not do that. Okay. Now, where did I put those spiders? Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Well, you probably didn't because it was a lot of talking. Uh, and you probably skipped over it, so you're probably not hearing me say this now. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.